talking about? <sighs> So I came across this clip a couple days ago, um, and it was from like an old cartoon, and it had a series of animated GIFs, um, it was like three or four in a, in a row, where they were zoomed in shots of like the same character, going one, two, three, four. Um, the character was centralized in the image, but like the backgrounds were evolving behind him as it was zooming in. And it gave me an idea of doing the 3D animated GIFs um, that I've been doing of like the like the the Nishka effect on my DSLR, and I thought about doing three in a row where the backgrounds would be a wide shot, a medium shot, and a portrait shot of like a uh, a character or a person that I thought um, might be cool. So I actually went ahead and tried this the other day, and I thought the effect was really really cool. So essentially, what I did was when you do the 3D effect, you want to make sure that you keep your image centralize but when you do three in a row or four in a row you actually um we want to string them together so it's one circular motion and continuous motion so you want to make sure that if, for instance if you start from the left to the right you do it for each gif and for each gif you want to make sure that your focal point is centralized in the image which makes um the 3d effect more um apparent so i actually went and tried this and i want to explain it to you guys how i did it and kind of like the the effect why it works so well the sticker is peeling oh jeez i'm actually going to explain it to a friend as well so let me go ahead and grab him first so i live in kawasaki well not in kawasaki but close to kawasaki my train station called shin kawasaki and it's like a 10 eight minute walk damn it's kind of cold today Kind of a gloomy day. I mean, today's a Saturday, so like the school's obviously shut down. Like the school's been shut down for like last week-ish. It's kind of eerie. I don't know, during the weekdays, usually you hear like kids playing and stuff and it's like kind of comforting, but it's kind of awkward with the, uh, uh, the coronavirus stuff going on, but hopefully it all passes by soon, just the next couple months. The one thing you do see a lot though, is people carrying a shit ton of like, toilet paper. I just saw like five people walk by with toilet paper, which is like, I don't really understand it, you know? Cause I feel like people are just panicking a lot and like the production of toilet paper doesn't increase. So like, there's obviously a shortage, but it's kind of like, it's kind of eerie to be honest, you know? It's almost like, I don't know. I don't know how it is where you guys are right now, but like in Tokyo, it's kind of like, I wouldn't say people are like, completely freaking out, but like they're kind of getting really concerned. Um, I don't know. With the mask and everything, huh? Oh. Corona proof, son. Corona <laughs> Dedication. He loves the mini stop. Thank you very much. No problem. It's too much. Oh. Hey, we had the best coffee in the whole world, but I already bought one. I already have one? <laughs> oh, in the back pocket. <laughs> I want like a chocolate chocolate thing though. Mm -hmm. That's the problem, it's too much selection. <sighs> I need a coffee too. <laughs> mm, not today though, I'm gonna try something new. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Bro, they chillin'. Look at that donkey. Bro, where did you take me? Bro, welcome, <laughs> welcome to Kawasaki, man. <laughs> where anything is possible for free. <laughs> yeah, this place costs. You know, how much does this place cost? Free. <laughs> for, <laughs> zero money. How much, little man? Bro, look at him. Zero hand. I'm a what a Japanese raccoon dog is. That's him right there. There's not enough space for these guys, huh? No. Mass Palm Civet. Mass Palm Sounds like an expensive car. <laughs> Check out my Mass, Mass Palm, Civet. Palm Corvette. <laughs> Man, it's hard you know, to work. Man, you have to do what you gotta do. <laughs> when you're looking for ideal casings to prop your $3,000 camera on, look Bruh. no further. 
Bruh. 9.95 at peacegates.com. 9.95. <laughs> Alibaba Express. <laughs> so I just explained the GIF um, for Peace's channel and he just had a dip. But I wanted to explain it to you guys real quick, um, kind of the premise of like how you do it and what it's about. And so as I mentioned before, it's sort of like the exact same thing as I've been doing. It's the, the 3D um, parallax GIF that I've been making. Um, and I'll put a link to that tutorial that I've done before. But essentially this time I decided to stack um, three separate ones on top of each other um, in an order. And so the order that I went for um, was essentially, um, what should I use here for a prop? So when you're taking your photo, um, the one that I did was at first I did a, a long shot, like a landscape shot, um, kind of just like full body picture. And then the second set of photos that I took was kind of like chest up. And then finally, the last picture I took was obviously just a portrait of the person. Um, and so by doing this, essentially what you want to do is you want to create like a story per se. The story line essentially is almost like a zoomed in effect. And eventually I want to go ahead and like get into like more um, lengthy ones. I don't know how many you can do in a row and to the point where like it still makes sense and it's like cohesive, but I'm gonna go ahead and try a bunch and post on my Instagram and stuff like that. I, for this one, I just did three just because like I thought like maybe a zoomed in effect um, would be nice. Essentially what you do is you stack all the layers on the same Photoshop file and you don't create that inverted frame in the fifth frame. So what you do is you take four photos, you do one, two, three, four, um, five, six, seven, eight are the next set of photos. And then obviously nine, 10, 11, 12 are the final set of photos. And you wanna make sure the key point here is that the image or the face is centralized in your shots throughout the whole like um, the GIF. Because if you're, the point of focus for the parallax effect, if it's like, if it jumps all over the place, then the, um, the 3D effect isn't as clean and it's not as clear. And so I guess the one major point that I would suggest is that um, if you were to take your photo, and this is this is uh, the person, if you were to take your photo, make sure that um, the, the person is centralized and you're not like jumping different angles. Um, well, you can, but just make sure that your central part of the, the image is um, kind of like the same like box area at the final final like crop. So that's how I did the one I just posted on my Instagram. Super easy, super simple. Um, I'm definitely gonna try and expand it and see what else I can do. Maybe like do different um, lengths and stuff like that. But definitely stay posted on my my Instagram at Gakuyen, G-A-K-U-Y-E-N to see more examples. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.